Good morning, Sparky. Today is July 12th, 2017, and LP was out trying a celery leaf, and he happened to notice. He almost ate your breakfast, Sparky. He almost ate your little snack, and I hate to do this, guys, because I have a feeling that this is a butterfly larva. But Sparky is so, so picky and won't eat fruits and vegetables. And of course, he won't eat a celery leaf. That's out. Unless it's all by accident. He likes live feeders. Obviously, he does not see this, guys. Obviously. Or he would be right on it. Sparky the Walrus. Sparky, are you full? Got a little romaine in there with your yam. Yes, you did. But you didn't eat any eggs, did you? And your French toast was sprouted wheat. Are you ready to go outside? You want to go? Does Sparky want to go? Are you too full to care? I'm going to go over some things that uh, I did today for Sparky because it's going to be extremely hot. I want to go over this first. I want to go over this first. Uh, this is a little tool that I use to loosen up Sparky's soil. I, I have used this so many times. It's just such a handy little tool. We got it from a catalog. I don't know if it's grower supply. Uh, a gardening, some type of a gardening um, catalog. So what I did was I went in here and I really watered uh, really well and then I turned around and watered again because I added um, the eco earth to some areas uh, in here. So I watered good, I, I loosened the soil and I added so another top dressing of the dry leaves. I also watered his high rise. When you give him fresh water, just put the leaves, the dry leaves in first. Cause I got some 
a little bit of leaves in Sparky's uh, water dish. Yeah. So I made him a little area here underneath. I added eco earth. I uh, loosen the soil good first, add some eco earth, put some dry leaves on top of that. And I left some bare earth in some areas because he likes some bare earth also. I like to give him a variety. Uh, so I water these hostas really good. Watered his, sub his substrate really well. And so I've got him ready to put him outside. Um, here's another thing that I have been giving LP, and I'm going to try to get Sparky to have some this morning. Uh, it is um, soaked chia seeds. So when I soak it, I use four parts water to one part chia. And then it gets this gelatinous, basically slimy look to it. And it's really good for intestinal healing because of the gelatinous, the mucousy um, way that it, uh, after soaking, uh, it just coats the lining of the uh, gut, intestinal lining. Um, Sparky is... Uh, just horribly picky and I have uh, when he's up like on the log like this, you know <laughs> he's, not, he's not having it uh, I have given him his food this way um, To try to encourage him to eat But he's not going to have it. He's ready to roll. Right. If you would give a monkey a peach or an apricot they will rip through the flesh of the peach and they will go right straight for the pit and they'll break open the pit and they will eat the seed. And there's the seed of the peach. So I was wondering if it was going to apply to a turtle. Would a turtle go for the peach seed or the apricot seed if they had the opportunity? So, we will see if Sparky will do that. So, anyhow, there's the chia that he, you know, is most likely not going to eat. And it's a superfood. It's got the omega-3. Um, you want to give it soaked, you know, like if you just eat the chia seeds the way they are, they absorb so much water in your intestines and they don't agree with me unless they're soaked uh, because when you think of something that will um, take up four times you know they're like a sponge they will take up four times the water if you put um, a fourth of a cup in a in a jar and then you put a cup of water in it will absorb it all and then it will be this gelatinous stuff that coats your intestines and there's so many people because of our food supply and the vaccines between the two of them it damages the gut so much and a lot of young children now have like Crohn's disease and digestive disorders and allergies and asthma and all that um, so this here you, you need to heal your gut because 70 to 80 percent of your immune system is in your gut so when you have your gut damaged by drugs, <clears throat> by prescription drugs and vaccines and the food supply, um, it's really hard to get um, any nutrients out of the food because, well, of course, there's just a lot of fake food, so you're not going to be getting much nutrition at all unless you're on a diet of one ingredient food like kale and putting a lot of greens together in a salad, uh, nuts and seeds and fruits and vegetables like that. Uh, if you're eating a lot of processed foods, you're really not getting much actual food and nutrition. So I don't give Sparky any kind of processed food. Uh, I used to try him on anything. I mean, even organic baby food and, and, and canned uh canned foods, um, canned meats, organic canned meats and stuff like that. I don't do that anymore. I just give him like the raw pet food from the farmer, um, live feeders. Um, I keep offering him fruits and veggies, which he won't touch. 
Uh, so, will he try Laetrile? Will he try to see? And this is how comfortable I am about the sea because in the Bible, Genesis 1 and 29, God says, eat the seed of fruit-bearing trees. So that tells me that this is not poisonous. Even though it contains uh, one-third cyanide, the cyanide, the body will get rid of it or it will be used to fight and kill cancer cells. So to me, having that seed is a gift from God to heal the body. There's the little toad that I think grew up to be a big fat little toad. You think do? Hey Sparky, today is July the 27th, 2017 and just look real cute this morning and I just thought that this would be another picture another video uh, <clears throat> I want to do a quick video on why I don't give Sparky GMO food why I don't give him processed food um, pellets uh, turtle pellets anything in a can or a box or a bag because we just don't eat like that anymore do we Sparky? Uh, I don't go to the pet shop and get dehydrated um, crickets and all that I mean some of that stuff comes from China and Sparky don't want them do you Sparky? You simply don't want them. Uh oh He wants live feeders, don't you? If you want any feeders, it's got to be live. Right, Sparky? So, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to go mix up Sparky since he don't like fruits and he, since he doesn't like fruits and he doesn't like veggies. I'm going to go mix him up some wheat grass juice powder. Right, Sparky? I can get him drinking the uh, greens. LP said Sparky's wound up this morning. Are you wound up, Sparky? Hmm? Are you wound up? You know it's going to rain. I'm going to stick you out in the rain. Did you know that? Hmm? It's good for you to get some raindrops on your back. Some real rain. Instead of me spraying you and putting water up on your back. 